Well, today is the first full day of fall, and as we've been showing you on Vancouver Island Report, it is the time of year when bears on Vancouver Island are scrambling to get every scrap of food they can before winter. And bear encounters are on the rise. Tuesday, a black bear had to be put down by conservation officers in a residential area of Campbell River, and today it happened again in Deep Bay. But as A News reporter Gord Kerbis shows us, this wasn't your typical bear encounter. This morning, a worker repairs one of the floats in the marina at Deep Bay. Coincidentally, it's the exact location where just a few hours earlier, a black bear spent its final moments. First heard two shots about 8.30, 8.40. And you don't normally hear shots down here? No, not too often. Those shots were directed at this black bear, believed to be around four years old. The bear has been spotted in and around Deep Bay since June. That's when it was first photographed by Patty Byro. You know, you expect to see bears in the woods here, but not, uh, not on the government dock. That's something. Today, it swam out to the dock and then became disoriented. One of the people uh, on the, the docks phoned at around 7.30ish to uh, report the bear and then the conservation officer came down. The marina was closed down as the officer tracked the movements of the bear among the vessels. It found its way next to the boat owned by Ken Howard. One of the guys on the dock here told me that there was a bear and looked right around the corner of my boat here and sure enough he was sitting there. Howard then witnessed the fatal encounter between that bear and the conservation officer. The bear started coming towards the conservation officer. He beanbagged at the first shot and the bear turned around and went the other way for a second and then then it started towards him again and then it charged. As the bear charged towards him, the officer had to put two shots into it. He had no choice. He had to drop the bear 30 feet in front of him. Those who witnessed today's events unfold are praising the efforts of the conservation officer, not in the fact that he shot the bear, but that he went above and beyond to try to avoid putting the animal down. They say he was quite visibly shaken after the ordeal, but had no choice. I saw where and how it happened, so he did everything he could to uh, not shoot the bear. There was also some anger in the community knowing that the bear was likely attracted to the area by food left out for the birds. Just people leaving the leftovers of their catch of the day and you know perhaps garbage left on the boats, things like that. It just people need to be aware and stop what they're doing. There's people in in the harbor here that have been told by the conservation not to feed the geese around here and they feed them every day. They keep on throwing out scraps, and sure enough, uh, an animal ended up having to die for it. Once again, it's a human mistake that the bear had to pay for. In Deep Bay, Gord Gerbis, A News.